All this week, we've been taking a look back at some of the moments leading up to those first steps on the moon. One of the most important pieces of the successful Apollo 11 mission was recovering the returning astronauts at sea, and a Denver man was part of that mission. CBS 4's Karen Morford on the story tonight. Karen even has rare footage of the event. That's great. Jim, and this is footage that, unless you know him personally, has never been seen before. With this 50th anniversary in mind, He's sharing that video with us. Uh, there are a lot of things in Jim Cowell's basement that remind him of his time on the USS Hornet. I flew on a, a target plane, 001. But none more than the images he brought back home from the Apollo 11 recovery. They're pretty amazed that I was that close. Like, what are you doing there? The ship was sent to retrieve the Columbia module after it crashed into the Pacific four days after traveling to the moon. It was really a race for us. Okay, to beat the Russians, so at least it's to, to most people, it was a big deal. Cal remembers standing just feet from President Richard Nixon, who was on the ship watching as Neil Armstrong, Buzz Aldrin, and Michael Collins were brought aboard. It was just amazing to me. I was standing there, and right up above me is the president. He also remembers seeing the Columbia up close. You could just see how much heat was on the bottom of that. That was that was really something. The response from some of his fellow crew members was pretty unforgettable as well. It was gold foil for heat. And so guys were trying to steal pieces of it. <laughs> and when I went to get my piece, there were a bunch of Marines with flat hats standing out there guarding it. But his video of those three astronauts peeking through the airstream they'd be quarantined in for 21 days, it's part of history that until now most have never seen. Captured on a day Cal will never forget. So it's kind of like, gee whiz, that was a pretty, pretty good day, huh? <laughs> Cal is now in California where the USS Hornet has been turned into a museum. He'll be there celebrating the 50th anniversary all this week. For now, we're live in Denver. Karen Morfitt covering Colorado First.